To follow along with the written version of this pattern, use the link on screen now, in the description below, or by going to clubcrochet.com slash heart. Hey there, it's Louie, and in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet a itty bitty little heart. Now if you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know that I've done a few different heart tutorials, including an amigurumi classic heart and an anatomical heart, but this year I thought for Valentine's Day it'd be fun to do just a little flat version of the heart that you can use to embroider onto your amigurumi, um, you can stuff it, your amigurumi with it, you can sew a bunch of them together to make a garland, or you can even add them to earrings or a necklace. They're really, really quick and easy to make. Um, and as you can see, you can make a bunch of different kinds of sizes based on uh, the pattern itself or using different kinds of yarn. So we'll be, we'll be discussing all kinds of that in this video. Really quick before I get going, if you like this video, please like it down below and subscribe to the channel. Um, I do videos like this all the time, a bunch of video tutorials. And next month I in, uh, am going to do a bunch of little miniature stars that are just like this, um, but a bunch of different kinds of styles. So yeah, if you'd like to follow along with when that comes out make sure to subscribe down below and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when i come out with new uh patterns or new live streams stuff like that okay well let's talk about the materials you need for this pattern for this pattern i'm using the following materials i'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100 percent cotton that's how i made these hearts right here uh, and as you can see there's actually different sizes um, based on the pattern but it's all made with worsted weight cotton yarn um, you can use any kind of yarn you want in fact i made this one just a few minutes ago using embroidery thread which is this um, and this is actually the same exact pattern as this heart, but made with embroidery th thread. Um, and then you can also make it really big using chunky yarn. This is like basically t-shirt yarn. It's huge. Um, and this is actually this pattern using a little bit bigger of a yarn and a little bit bigger of a crochet hook. Speaking of crochet hook, in this video, because I'm using worsted weight cotton yarn, I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. If you decide to use a smaller yarn like embroidery thread, um, you want obviously a smaller uh, crochet hook. This one was made with a size 1.5 millimeter crochet hook, uh, number two. Um, but as whatever kind of yarn you use, just make sure that the, um, that the hook you're using comfortably hooks onto the yarn. Um, you don't have too much extra room in between and um, it's not too big or too small. If it's too small, you'll end up starting to split your yarn, which basically means when you're doing something like, let's try to accidentally split this yarn you can see see how it kind of like will split into two that's what'll happen if you have too small of a hook so try to use a somewhat big hook but not you know don't don't go too big with it okay well that's enough preview let's get hooking um we're gonna start i'm gonna start by making the normal size which is this size right here and i'm going to try to um explain as simply as possible how to um how to crochet your heart actually this is is this a normal size yeah this is the normal size Actually, no, this one is the normal size. This one's extra big. Okay, anyhow, let's get hooking. Um, I'm gonna try to do this as simple and beginner friendly as possible so that if you are a absolute beginner crocheter, um, you can still make this. So I'm gonna go through each step one by one, really nice and slow. Okay, well, we're gonna start by making a magic loop. To make a magic loop, I'm gonna hold the yarn down. This is my favorite simplest way to make the magic loop. I'm gonna hold the yarn down with my middle and thumb like so, and then I'm gonna go over my index finger like that, and then go back around the bottom of my middle finger, and then back over my index finger, and see how I make a little X? That's really important. Make sure to make it a little X, and then go back around the back side of your fingers. Now on the back, you should see it does a little parallel, two parallel yarns, and then on the front, you should have a little X here. And then I want to grab a hold of the yarn with my ring and pinky finger, put it in between, and then close my ring and pinky finger to hold it into place. Okay. Now we want to turn it so you can see the back side, the two bars there. Take your crochet hook. We're going to go under the first bar and hook onto the second bar and pull that under the first one like that. And then I'm going to twist it. Okay. And when you twist it, you make this little loop there, just like that. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now with the crochet hook, I want to go over this first bar 
and yarn over with the other end that you just pulled the end um, through with. So it's kind of hard to get under that without your index finger. So you might want to guide your yarn over your hook with your index finger. And then when it's hooked on your yarn, you'll pull it through that loop. The easiest way to pull it through that loop is to really like scoop it in like that. See, I'm like scooping it. Once you have it scooped in like that, that creates a chain stitch, which is exactly what we're looking for. And now this yarn is locked together. You can pull it off of your fingers and it makes this little loop. Now with this loop, we can pull this end and it'll, it'll tighten the loop just a bit. We just want it to go a little bit tighter. Yeah, about like a pennies or, or so in diameter. Okay, now that you have the magic loop, um, we are going to start by doing a single crochet into this magic loop. All of the stitches will go into the center of this magic loop, and then we're going to tie it, pull it really tight to pull them all to all the stitches together. Okay, we're going to do one by one stitch. This is why it's nice for beginners, because you learn a bunch of different crochet stitches in one easy pattern that's really quick to do. So let's start with the single crochet. To start with the single crochet, we're going to go into the magic loop using your crochet hook, go into the center of the, the hole here, and then yarn over with the end attached to the yarn. Okay, I like holding it in my hand like this, kind of like a little finger gun there, and going over my index finger. It helps me guide where the yarn's gonna go. So I go over the hook and I pull it through the hole like that. And now you should have two loops on the hook. And then we wanna yarn over with this end again, but going over the hole, instead of going into it again, we're gonna go over, yarn over with the yarn and pull it through the two loops on the hook. Okay, so kind of scoop it in like you did with that chain. And that's going to be what's called a single crochet. Now, most of my patterns are done with single crochets. So if you are used to my patterns, my amigurumi, um, you will be very familiar with that stitch. Okay, so that's the first stitch. The second one we want to do is a half double crochet, which is a little bit taller than the single crochet. So what you're going to do for that is we're going to start by yarning over. So we're going to go over the crochet hook like that. And then we want to insert into the hole like we did for our single crochet. So we want to go into the hole and then yarn over with the end attached to the, the ball and pull that under through the hole. And now you should have three loops on the hook, okay? Instead of doing just the one, two loops for the single crochet, now we have three loops. And we can yarn over with the end going over the hole, not into the, the hole. Yarn over it and pull that through all three loops on the hook, okay? All of these. We're gonna again do that scoop to help it guide through the stitch. Okay, so now we have a single crochet and a half double crochet. Next, we want to do a double crochet, which is a little bit taller than the half double. These are all US terminology, by the way. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. So for a double crochet, it started exactly like the half double. We're going to yarn over and then insert the crochet hook into the stitch and then yarn over with it. Pull that under through. So just like the half double crochet, we should have three loops on the hook. Now is where we divert from the half double crochet. We're going to yarn over. And instead of pulling through all three like we did for the half double, we're just going to pull through the first two loops on the hook. Okay, so we want to scoop it through, but try to not get through that third loop like that. So you only pull through two. And then we yarn over again and pull through the last two loops on the hook like that. And that's called a double crochet. Okay, now for the classic uh, size of a heart, which is this one right here, um, we are going to do one more stitch. If you are making the smaller one, um, we're going, you don't need to make another stitch and I'll show you how to make these littler ones a little bit later in this video. I'm gonna try to do three different sizes in this whole video. So we're gonna be starting with the classic size though, the medium size, I would say. And for the medium size, we wanna do one more size up. It's called a treble or triple crochet. And for this, it's just a little bit taller than the double crochet. So we're going to yarn over twice. So we're going to yarn over and then we're going to do it one more time. Yarn over. Okay, so you already have three loops on the hook. Now you want to insert into the stitch. Yarn over and pull that through like that. Now you should have four loops on the hook. And now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through only two loops kind of like the double crochet, just to pull through two of these loops. Now you should have three loops on the hook. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna yarn over again and pull through two loops on the hook. 
like that. Okay, try not to split your yarn. See how I'm only through part of my stitch there? We wanna make sure we're through all of those pieces. Let me, let me show you a little bit. That would be through all of them. So there's a little bit of that stitch that didn't want, it didn't want my loop to get through. So you have to really try to make sure it goes through all of them so you don't accidentally split a stitch. It'll make your crochet stitches look a little weird. It's not the worst thing, but yeah. And then to finish up the treble crochet or triple crochet, we yarn over and we pull through the last two loops on the hook. Okay, and I'm gonna be showing you all these stitches again, but in reverse when we go back down to make it smaller. So see how we're making it slightly bigger and then we're gonna go slightly smaller. So next up, we want to chain two. Okay, so for a chain, we're just going to yarn over with the yarn and pull it through the loop. So there's one. I'm going to do two of those chains. So one and two. Okay, so two chains. And now we want to do a slip stitch into the hole. So we go into the hole. We yarn over with the end and pull it under through the hole and then pull this same loop through the one on the hook. A slip stitch is basically the the base of a of a crochet stitch. So it's like the smallest amount of stitch that you can do. And I know our piece is looking a little weird. You can kind of tweak this over in the ring to make it closer to the end, but you can see how it's kind of going up. Uh, okay, so now we basically wanna go back up and then do our stitches in reverse. So first we're going to chain three. So one more than we chained to go down, we wanna chain up. So we're gonna chain three, so we're gonna yarn over and pull it through the loop on the hook for a chain. There's one, two, three. Okay, so three chains. And now we wanna do a triple or treble crochet into the hole. So we're gonna yarn over two times. That's That was our last stitch that we made in our first part here. So we yarn over three times, or two times, one, two, and then go into the hole, yarn over and pull it through the hole, and then yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook, and then yarn over again, pull through another two loops on the hook, and then yarn over a last time and pull through the final two loops on the hook for your second triple crochet. And now we want to do a double crochet. So we yarn over one time, go back into the hole, yarn over and pull that through, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the final two for a double crochet. See how it's like slowly getting smaller. And then we want to do a half double crochet. So we yarn over, go into the hole, yarn over and pull through. And then for the half double crochet, you uh, yarn over, and instead of pulling through two for like the double crochet, we're going to pull through all three of these loops. So we're just going to scoop it all the way through all those loops. Okay, so we did a triple, a double, a half. And the final stitch, we want to do a single crochet into the hole. So we just go into the hole, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops for our single crochet. So you can kind of see how the heart is taking shape now. Um, now what we can do is we can pull this tail end and it should close the entire hole up. So just pull that tail end and it tightens it up. I like to hold it right where the center is to really get it tight. Now be careful if you're using cotton like I am, you can break the yarn if you pull it too tight. So try not to pull it too tight. That's probably good enough. Okay, so you see how our heart is taking shape. And the last thing we want to do is do the little point at the bottom. Now to do the little point, we chain two. So we yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. One, and let's do that again. Two, when you make your two chains, you wanna pull this tight. So pull it tight and it'll tighten up those two chains and make a little point. And then on our first stitch, we wanna slip stitch one. So see our first single crochet that we made right there? You can kinda of see it on the front there. What we wanna do is we wanna get our crochet hook under both of these loops at the top of your single crochet. So into both of those loops, we wanna do it do a slip stitch. So let's get our needle out of there. Take your crochet hook and get into both of those loops. Now you probably will need your index finger to help guide your crochet hook into that like that. But once you're under both of those loops, we're going to yarn over at the end, pull it through the both of those loops, and then pull it through the loop on the hook to make a slip stitch. You see how it makes our little heart. And the last thing we want to do is we can cut our yarn. 
and pull it through, just pull it all the way through like that, and we're gonna hide this end in. So we can thread it on our darning needle. Now I like using a crimped end darning needle like that, that turns a little bit, um, but you don't really need that if you don't, if you don't want to. And we're just gonna thread it onto the back of our needle here. And this is uh, how I like to hide the ends of my yarn, uh, ends of my pieces, um, and it basically replicates a stitch, so you can't really tell where the end is. And what you do is you're going to go into the back of the next stitch. So we're going to go under both of these loops. This is the next stitch. This is the stitch we just worked into for our last slip stitch. So we're going to go into the back of this next stitch right here, under both of these loops, pull it through. I'm going to leave it a little bit loose. You don't need it too loose, but just a little bit. And now we're going to go back into that stitch from where this end, oops, from where that end is coming out. So right into the center of that, where it's coming out is where you want to go back in. And then you want to kind of hide it under a few stitches as you go down. Okay, so this can be a little bit tricky, but you're basically just working your needle under a few different stitches like that. And then we're just gonna pull it through. And we wanna pull this tight, but we wanted to pull it tight in a very simple way. So first we wanna pull this end, which will tighten that first part, and then we can pull this other end. So you wanna be very delicate with this so you don't pull it too much. You just wanna replicate all those Vs at the top. Now I like to pull it and tweak it, push it, and you pull a little bit tighter. I like to pinch the end to make it more of a point. And there's our little heart. And the last thing uh, I like to do is I like to, um, to uh, hide this end and pull it tight, or tight enough so that the hole closes a little bit more. So we're just going to first pull it nice and tight so that the hole stays closed. And we'll thread that on our needle. And we're just going to hide it up. So I'm just going to start hiding it into these stitches. So I'm just going to take my needle, just kind of go in from one, one stitch to the next, just a few of them to hide it in there so it doesn't come unraveled. Like that. Now you can leave these both um, on there if you want. If you want to like sew your heart onto something, um, you might want to leave these two ends on there. But now uh, I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to cut these ends nice and close like that and you have a medium-sized heart there you go and that's how you crochet a little miniature heart now really quick before i go on to the next size um if you liked this video please again like it down below it helps spread this channel out and if you like my videos um make sure to subscribe and check out more of my heart videos at clubcrochet.com heart but now let's move on to a slightly, um, we'll go a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and make a slightly larger uh, shaped heart. And it's made basically the exact same way, but we do a, a stitch that's even larger. So let's go ahead and just get going. I'm going to just go a little bit quicker this time. Um, and since I've already showed you most of the stitches. So I'm going to start with a magic loop where I pinch it down, go over my fingers like that. Take your crochet hook, go under the first, and hook the second, make a loop, yarn over with that end, and pull that under the loop to make a chain, pull it off of our finger. Okay. We're going to pull that a little bit tighter. Okay, now the first bit of this is made exactly the same as that small one. So we're going to start with a single crochet, so I go into the loop, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. And then I do a half double crochet, so I yarn over, I go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Then I do a double crochet, I yarn over, I go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then I yarn over again and pull through the last two loops here for a double crochet. And then we'll do a triple or treble crochet. We yarn over twice. One, two, go into the loop, yarn over and pull through. And then we yarn over and we pull through two loops. Yarn over again, pull through another two loops. 
and then yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. So that is where um, we, this is where we divert from the original heart. So this is uh, exactly how we made this original heart, but now we want to make it even a little bit bigger. Now, I don't remember what this stitch is called, and I forgot to look it up before I started recording. I should have looked it up. So if you remember what this stitch is called, let me know in the comments. But it's basically a little bit bigger than the triple crochet. We're going to just keep going bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so what we're going to do is, remember how the triple crochet, we yarned over twice before going into the stitch? This time we want to yarn over three times. We yarn over, yarn over, yarn over. So there's technically four loops on the hook now. Three, one, two, three, four. Now we go into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through the last two. And that's um, how you make whatever that stitch is called. But you see how it's getting just even taller now. Um, you can keep going bigger and bigger. Uh, I don't know. I haven't tested it out to see how big you could go before it becomes too floppy and the holes become too big. Um, but I found that this one works just fine. So if you want to keep going bigger and let me know how many, how much bigger you can possibly get it, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to see how much you guys can make it bigger. Um, now what you want to do is you want to chain down to do our slip stitch to make the point in the in the middle of the heart there. Now your chains that you do is going to be one less than the amount of stitches it is here. So this um, is, you do four pull throughs, you know? So um, in this middle part, because we did a triple crochet, we chained two and then slip stitched. For this one, because we're doing it one bigger, we're going to chain three. So we're yarning over and chaining three. So one, two, three. Now we slip stitch into the center to so go into the center, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on the stitch, or on the hook, okay? So kind of like pull it in like that. Now we want to chain up one more than we chained down, okay? So we, so we want to chain, um, we chained three to go down, so now we want to chain four to go back up. Um, the reason you do that is because your slip stitch, I count it as a chain, and I found that doing one less than the amount of chains, it just it just makes it look good. So we're going to chain four to go back up. So one, two, three, four. And now what we're going to do is that um, that really tall stitch that I can't remember the name for, but one bigger than a triple crochet, we're going to call it a quadruple crochet for right now. We're going to yarn over three times. So one, two, three, and then go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over, and we're going to pull through two, 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 all the way to the top. So pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over again and pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through our last two right here. Okay, and we're going to keep going further down. So now we're going to yarn over twice to do a triple crochet. Okay, so one less than this quadruple crochet. Yarn over twice. One, two. Go into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay. And now we're going to do a double crochet. So we yarn over one time. Go into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do a half double crochet, so we yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of these loops. This is easiest to do with that scoop. And then we do a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we finish this up just like how we finished the first one. We'll pull it tight, like so. We chain two, one, two, pull it tight to make a little point, and then we slip stitch into that first stitch that we made right here. Might need your finger to help you guide your hook in there. And then we slip stitch, we yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on the hook. And then we just hide this end, just like how we did before. Exactly like how we did before. Now. You can make this bigger or smaller by making um, larger and larger stitches to make it bigger, or you can stop earlier, um, like we did a up to a triple crochet for this one. 
But if you want to make it shorter, you can stop at your double crochet and make it um, smaller. So I'll go ahead and just do that one really quick after this. Let's go ahead and just hide this end. I'm not teaching how because I just showed you exactly how I do this. Pull it through like that. I'm just kind of kind of loosen it up. I like to pinch it and move it and make sure everything's in the right positions before I pull anything too tight. And then we just need to hide this other end here. I think it'd be really fun to um, make these into earrings or to make them into, um, to stuff my amigurumi with it. I just think it'd be a fun little thing to do. Even though no one would know about it, I would know. And I think it's just, I don't know. It sounds cute. It sounds fun. Okay, pull it tight, pull it tight. And then we'll just cut these ends. There we go. And again, here's my uh, one more plea before I go into the next size down uh, is please like it, like this video, subscribe, share it with anybody. You can share a picture with me by posting it on um, Instagram with hashtag club crochet. We also have a Discord channel. You can find links to that in the description below. You can find links to all the social media in the description. Okay, so we got our slightly bigger stitch or heart, slightly smaller heart. Now we can do one size less by stopping at the double crochet. So I'm going to show you how to do that, even though you probably understand what the situation is now. Just in case, um, I'm just going to go ahead and make another one since it's so quick and easy to make anyhow. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with our magic loop. It's done. Uh, it started exactly the same as before. And we're going to start with our single crochet into the hole. Let's move these back a little bit. And then a half double crochet into the hole. So we yarn over, do a half double crochet, and then a double crochet into the hole. So we yarn over, pull one through, pull through two, pull through two. And now to make it smaller, um, now is where we want to make it... Um, Let's pull this hole tighter. Now is where we want to uh, chain down and slip stitch. Um, instead of doing, remember for this first one, we chained two and then slip stitched. For this bigger one, we chained three and then we slip stitched. Well, if you want to make it even smaller than the chain two one, that means you're just going to have to chain one. So we yarn over, pull through, and then slip stitch into the hole. And now we want to chain back up so we can chain two. So we yarn over, pull through, Turn over, pull through. Okay, so one more than you chained to go down. And then we're going to just do these stitches backwards. So we're going to start with a double crochet. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And then a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, pull through all three, and then a single crochet. And then we pull it tight. And we chain two. One, two, pull that tight, and then slip stitch into the first stitch that you made right here. And then we'll just hide all those ends. Oopsies. There we go. And that's going to be how you make the tiniest itty bitty one. And then obviously you just want to hide the ends um, just like how we've been hiding them before. It gets more noticeable hiding the ends as you get smaller here. Um, there is a way to make it even smaller by stopping at the half double crochet if you want. Uh, but I found that making it even smaller than that, it it just um, it just doesn't look as heart like uh, once you get smaller as th than this. I mean, you you know you can tweak it and make it make it work right, but it can just be it just doesn't look as hearty hearty <laughs> as heart like as uh these ones do in my opinion and then i'll just hide this end here that's going to be how you make these little miniature hearts let me show you really quick what i uh have been using these for uh and where i actually came up with this idea for these hearts um there we go if you've been following along with this channel, uh, you'll know that I have been pretty addicted to making crocheted burbs, which are um, secret agent birds that look like other kinds of birds. So let me show you, give you an example and show you what I've been using this for. 
I'll show you the barn owl. So this is a barn owl burb. And what I mean is they look like a barn owl, but you can actually take the head off and it's actually a little bird in disguise. So I have a bunch of patterns for these, but the reason I wanted to show you this guy is because this is how I actually came up with it. I used the heart method to make his little tail. So you can see how the tail is just like this heart, um, but I don't do the chain two. So I have patterns for a bunch of these little burbs. And let me show you one more thing. Um, the pigeons and um, uh, let me find a good pigeon. Where's a good pigeon? Oh, well, I'll show you the duck because I can't find my other pigeon. Is this a pigeon? Oh, here's the pigeon. So the pigeons um, are done. You can see that the wings and the tail are almost pretty similar to this. Uh, and this is the first one I made. Here you see this little white end. That's so that he can poop. <laughs> No, it's silly. Um, but you'll see the tails and the wings are done almost uh, just like this, except I do another one of these little, um, I don't know, kind of clovers, you know? Boop, boop. And then I just did a third one to make the tails and wings. Uh, and this is what I did actually before I actually came up with the heart idea. Okay. Well, oops. This guy's named Monsieur Quack, made from the live streams. All right, well, enough uh, dilly-dallying for me. Thank you so much again for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to like it down below. Um, check out more of my heart patterns by going to clubcrochet.com slash heart. I have them all available there. Uh, I really think you'll like the miniature uh, the miniature amigurumi heart. Uh, the classic heart is what I call it. I think it is a very cool and easy pattern, especially if you if you have these stitches down, you'll definitely be able to do amigurumi Um uh, I think you'll really, really enjoy Amigurumi if you haven't worked on any yet. Uh, thanks again for watching. Pasta la pizza and happy hooking. Um, look at this again. Look at how cute this little itsy bitsy one is. So tiny. Going to make great earrings. All right. Anyhow, enough. <laughs> no, you hang up. All right. Bye. <laughs> boop, boop.